Hello and welcome Taurus to Moon Kitty Tarot. This is Moon Kitty and this is your general weekly Zodiac Tarot reading for the week of July 25th through July 31st of 2021. Thank you for being here Taurus. Uh, just a few things before we get started. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you know when I upload next. Also, please don't forget to comment in the comment section below whether this resonated with you or not. And if it didn't, please make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. You'll get a better overall picture of how your week will be. And if you would like to set up a tar private tarot or oracle, or a kundalini reiki healing session with me you can do so at circle of divination and my social media links are in the description box below please make sure you're only following my social media and not following uh for any of the scammers spammers and trolls that will message you to set up a private reading or um ask you for money i will never do those things again those are spammers scammers and trolls so just be careful of those. All right, the deck that I'm working with this week is the Gilded Tarot Royale um, by Ciro Marchetti. I also am using, again, his miniature deck of the Gilded Tarot Royale um, for any clarification that I need for any cards. I am also, since I enjoyed so much last week, the Messenger decks, going to be pulling you a message for um, the week of July 25th of 2021. Um, for you Taurus at the end of the reading. I do have two new decks by Lucy Cavendot, uh, Cavendish that I will be using throughout these videos this week. Um, all right, let's get started. I have already pulled you 10 cards for the, for the week of July 25th, 2021. And again, um, thank you for being here, Taurus. Let's get started. So the general energies for you this week, Taurus, is the five of swords you might be feeling like um you next week is going to be a battle for you or the week of the 25th sorry for me it's next week <laughs> as i'm recording this um it might be a bit of a battlefield for you um, or you might be going into battle whether that's figuratively or literally i don't know your situation again this is just general um Maybe it's time to learn how to protect oneself. Um, and the energies that are crossing you this week is the Hierophant. Wanting to be stable or have stability, not wanting to go with the flow, um, you know, s status quo type stuff. Um, not really wanting to go against anyone. And the card that is below you for the week of July 25th, Taurus, is the King of Swords. Um, make sure you don't have your head in the clouds, that you keep your eye on the prize, you stay focused, um, and you don't let your daydreams uh, distract you from your reality. Sometimes it's good to be in those daydreams, sometimes it's not a good thing. It can distract us, get us in trouble, um, you know, those types of things. So just be aware of that. So what is crowning you for the week is the five of swords or, or wands, excuse me. I keep wanting to call wands card swords, but it's the five of wands. You might be feeling like now is a good time to co uh, collaborate with someone, to work with other people. Um, maybe they might have an idea for you that will reignite a fire within you a good idea um, the next card which has been um, this is the last six to twelve months for you Taurus is the ten of swords maybe it hasn't been exactly easy for you in the last six to twelve months um, you felt like uh, you've been treasuring through that battlefield and you're really wanting it to be over you want to break you don't want to keep fighting um, the the battles whatever they are for you, Taurus. Um, the next card is the Knight of Swords. And he's looking back, like he's looking towards the past this way. Um, and he's ready for action. He's ready to go. 
we can't always focus on the past. Sometimes we have to focus either in the present or on the future. Um, the past cannot be changed. We can ask for forgiveness for any wrongs that we have done, even to ourselves, work on forgiving ourselves. Um, if we've hurt or wronged someone else, seek forgiveness sincerely. Um, but dwelling on the past, it gets you nowhere. Um, it's best to live in the present and prepare for the future. So your next card, um, which is the next six to 12 months for you, um, Taurus, is the three of wands. And as you can see in this card, there's a person on um, a rock face. Maybe it's a peer who has three wands. He's holding one as a light and he has two that are behind him all lit up. Um, it's like you have three choices that you're going to be presented with Taurus in the next six to 12 months. Um, and you might um, be letting one of those choices go. If you notice there is a ship leaving the pier, they let one of the choices go. It definitely wasn't the right choice uh, for them at the time. Um, or maybe you're waiting on your ships to come in that you've already sent out. Um, Taurus and you're waiting for the prospects that you have um, been working towards to bring back the gold um, as it were um, literally literally and figuratively <laughs> um, but you have to be careful with that because it looks like there is a storm starting to brew um, you can see how choppy the waters are and off to the top right you can see the clouds are starting to roll in so just be careful with some of those ships that are coming in or going out and the choices that you make your next card which is all about um, your family your friends your home and family does not have to be blood related necessarily it can be your chosen family, I will say that in every video, um, is the King of Cups, which is the water element. And it is also all about our emotions. Um, you might be feeling a little bit more stable in your emotions regarding your family and friends and your home, or maybe that's your sanctuary. Um, the King is sitting in his throne looking directly at you. Um, so living in the present, being present, if you're always on your phone and your kids are running around growing up and living and um, learning things, put your phone down and be present with them. Be present with those that you date, your significant other, your friends, uh, mother, father, siblings, grandparents, you know, they're not, they're not going to be around forever put the phone down, put the book down, put, turn the TV off and actually have a conversation with them. So the next card is a temperance card and this is your hopes and fears position. And I think that, um, goes back to the, uh, three of wands card, the choices that you have to make the temperance, um, card she has it's a figure that's dancing in the water or potentially space and she has a cup of water and a cup of fire um so it's like she's trying to um decide which one to choose but she is actually facing the future and she's facing that cup of fire so it's basically saying um, to reignite that light within you, but also to make sure that your actions are appropriate to the situation. Um, I think maybe you are one, maybe you're one who um, flies off the handle at any given little thing and it's time to take a step back from that and learn that that's not always a good thing especially if there's children involved um and a significant other um or you know even at yourself or an employee whatever it's time to take a step back from that 
uh, knee-jerk reaction and learn how to control that and learn how to work with that so that you're making sure that each um, reaction is appropriate to the situation. So your overall outcome for the week is the Wheel of Fortune. Good card to get. And you are... Um, so basically this card is saying, saying that there's going to be some changes. The wheel is constantly changes in, in paganism. It changes with the seasons. Um, but this is about to, um, this is saying that there's potential for change for the better and wants you to be ready to make and use the opportunities that are presented for you. Um, you have to be ready for them. Okay. You can't just, um, you know, go willy-nilly knee-jerk reaction moment again you know with temperance um okay so the only card that i really feel like needs clarification is that ten of swords what clarification can you give taurus for the ten of swords what clarification for taurus for the ten of swords and this is why i don't shuffle the cards on camera because of how long it takes me <laughs> okay I'll keep that one all right so we have what flew out first was the four of Pentacles then we have the ace of swords and the two of cups so maybe um, with the four of pentacles and the two of cups maybe you have been holding back from a significant other or holding yourself back from being in a tr truly happy in a relationship um and you're being miserly financially maybe because pentacles is about your finances um and now is the time to bring the peace with this ace of swords you'll notice that there is a dove in the card and maybe that's where the um negative uh, negative emotion that i'm getting from that ten of swords is coming from um is you have been miserly with your emotions and uh, maybe you feel like you need to protect yourself um and your finances so you've been miserly you've been holding back but that two of cups and the ace of swords is telling you it's time to let that go it's time for peace it's time to work with your partner significant other or spouse whatever however they are to you um even if it's within your own self like you need to learn to love yourself and not be so hard on your own self is the main message that i am getting for you taurus um, as an earth sign you can be very stubborn and set in your ways and sometimes you got to learn to bend and work with um flexibility um that's the main thing i'm getting um is to learn to bend a little bit okay so the the deck that i'm going to use since that was the last message we're getting is by lucy cavendish and it's because it's called because i love myself and this is one of her affirmation decks What message is there for Taurus for the week of July 25th through 31st of 2021? Okay, let's see what we have. My needs matter. I please myself. I focus and check in asking what is, what is it, my own birthright, precious self that you want most at this time? I make my needs a priority. Come on, camera. Thank you. All right. So, again, when you're happy, you, you know, you can be a little bit happier in a relationship. It shows you have those extra emotions that can um, go to other people. So, um, I have a really good feeling for you this week, Taurus. Thank you so much for being here. I know there's some negative points, but 
I don't sugarcoat things. I'm honest. Um, I try to be as kind as possible, but sometimes there's messages that have to be heard. Again, if this resonated with you, please make sure you let me know that in the comment section below. And um, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to know when I am uploading next. I try to upload um, three days a week. And with August starting soon, I will be doing a monthly reading for August. Um, that will go out on Friday the 20, uh, 30th. Excuse me. All right, Taurus, thank you so much. Again, this has been a general reading for the week of July 25th through the 31st of 2021. Uh, please make sure you check your sun, moon, and rising signs so that you get an overall complete message for you for the week of the 31st. And if you would like to set up a private reading for tarot or oracle or set up a kundalini reiki healing session with me, the link and my social media links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for being here, Taurus. I hope you have a wonderful week for the week of the 25th of July, 2021. Blessed be. Thanks.